Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share something very special. It's a very special experience I had in my life. And I want to share it with you. It's called, What Is This? It was August 1982. Three months after my father's death, I had a roommate at the time. She was asleep in her bedroom and I was asleep in mine. All of a sudden, I heard a noise. It had to be between 2 and 5 a.m. because it was still very dark outside. I woke my roommate up to ask if she had heard anything. She didn't, but I did. So I decided to go into the living room and investigate. When I snuck down the hallway and peeked into the front room, I noticed the light was on. I knew someone had definitely come into the house because the front door was wide open. Fear gripped me. As I entered the dining room, I saw a 9 to 11 year old boy sitting at the dinner table, swinging his legs casually as if it was okay for him to be there. Now, I, I'm angry. The nerve. I command you to leave this house right now in the name of Jesus. He was smiling. I was seething. I yelled, get out, get out of my house right now in the name of Jesus. I looked toward the kitchen to see who else was, was with this guy. I thought he might have been the lookout boy. I called, who's in my kitchen? It was apparent that no one else but the boy had come in. I just couldn't figure out why in the heck was this idiot smiling at me instead of hightailing his behind out of there. Obviously, there must have been some loose change jangling around in his attic because he sure wasn't getting the message. He wasn't leaving either. What is this? I don't know what I'm dealing with. He then had the nerve to get up, walk over to my couch, and plop his little rump down like he belonged there. Oh no, I wasn't having this. He's got to go. All the other demons left when I rebuked them in the name of Jesus, so why wasn't this one leaving? I had rebuked him again and again, and to no avail. He just sat there on my sofa watching me get all riled up while he only smiled at me more and more. Finally, I had had my fill of feeling powerless, frustrated, and stupid. So I asked him, "Why are you, who are you and what do you want? He speaks, asking, do you have a pen and paper? Go over there and get it yourself, I chided. He got up, he walked to the table, then with pen in hand, he wrote something on a piece of paper. After that, he walked towards me and handed me the paper. <laughs> At the exact same moment he wrote on the paper, the dark night, had instantly changed to bright day. It was unusually bright, sunny, and beautiful outside, and the door was still wide open. Then I read what was written on the paper he gave me. What do my curious eyes behold? John H. Love. That's my father's name written in his own handwriting. The atmosphere was suddenly glowing with a heavenly joy and a glorious illumination. I looked at him and eagerly said, Pop, is that you? Is that you? The feeling in the room was so celestial. I thought angels might appear. I noticed my roommate walking back and forth in the hallway 
wearing her late mother's red robe, shouting praises to God in both her heavenly language and earthly language. Then the boy, Pop, was saying a few things. I can't remember now, but when he said he had to go, I hastily asked him, Pop, wait, did you make it to heaven? He responded with a wink and a smile. Yep, I'm on my way right now. I watched him walk outside into the bright, sunlit morning. Then I gleefully hollered, then howled ecstatically and woke myself up. <laughs> yeah, that was another one of my dreams. <laughs> it was far more than that, though. <laughs> well, anyway, that's part of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, that was the most beautiful dream. Uh, just to let you know, to en enhance that a little bit, when I was, uh, when I woke up, the feeling of heaven was in my house so strong. I spent the next three days looking for that piece of paper with his signature. Couldn't find it, but it stuck with me. I will never forget that. God allowed my father to come back to let me know he made it to heaven. 